Today we're going to have an interview with Lars Hansen, who's uh, been a colleague of mine here at Chicago for quite a long time. I don't think Indeed. you even want us to admit how long. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the BFI today and really the MFI before it and how you see its role. The vision of both the original MFI and the BFI came articulated from a rather, I think, rather distinguished faculty committee that I was uh, that I was head of. Indeed, and, and did, you were members of that committee, Jim Heckman, Bob Lucas, uh, Gary Becker, a variety of other distinguished scholars. And the real aim was how can we really put something on the table that would help to nurture important research at Chicago, continue the strong research tradition, and be also somewhat distinctive, not just imitate what's out there. Um, and so we, so we kind of got together. We thought about different ideas, you know, different ways to go with this. Um, articulated some basic ideas. So this would have been up to nine years ago um, and, and, and submitted a report. And I've gone back and looked at what the ambitions are that we articulated in that document that we, that, that we all contributed to and where the, where the BFI is now. And on many of the fronts, indeed, I think we've uh, really come quite close to delivering on what those ambitions were. And so there's different aspects of this. One is we wanted Chicago to really feel like and continue to feel like an intellectual destination. It's always been the case, I think, that scholars found it great to come to Chicago to get feedback and like that. But there was a tradition we wanted to build on, and this is a place we wanted top researchers to say, I want to go to Chicago. I want to go to the Becker Friedman Institute because that's where I can really discuss my research in a very you know, um, intense way, a critical way, and a way that can help broaden my own research as well as can uh, get my research on the radar screen of other top scholars. So that I think we've uh, delivered on quite well. Um, you know, we can talk about numbers, I'm a number of visitors now I can't even keep, keep track of, up to 30 to 40 visitors a year com uh, coming to campus. But also the, some of the research themes that, that we address. So it, I felt, well, I think we all felt that there's the National Bureau of Economic Research that's doing a whole bunch of things. Um, we need to do something that's a little bit more special, a little bit more unique. And, and the parts of those extras, activities that I found most interesting are the ones that kind of go somewhat across boundaries, that have, have scholars talking to each other that don't necessarily, aren't, aren't really necessarily in the same subfield of economics. Chicago has always been excellent at not wanting subfield boundaries and working against them. And I wanted this institute to, at the same time, also nurture that to you know connections across areas between between macroeconomics and industrial organization, between finance and macroeconomics, between labor economics and macroeconomics, and topics that were very Chicago in nature: economics of the family. I mean, you know that that was kind of you know Gary was a big leader in this, and it was an exciting area. You know, let's see how we can nurture it and continue it. And so I think those those also are been a very important part of it. So just kind of really adding to the intellectual fabric here right? and, and applying platforms for people to communicate, to talk to each other uh, um, that, that don't always exist. I, I view that as really important. Mm -hmm.